announcements. The Rob's Royalberry Reading Challenge officially kicks off today. Read three of the 13 challenge books attend attending the voting party and receive a certificate of participation. Books will be available on a first-come, first-served basis. Also, follow us on Instagram at roms underscore learning. We will be posting on a regular basis, so don't miss out on the fun. In addition to that, Book Club will begin on Thursday mornings in March. More information to come in the near future. Spanish Club will be meeting today in Miss Gerard's room from 3 to 4 p.m. See you there. Ice Cream Social is after the Bulldog Games Friday. Great job, Rums. You raised $9,190. You've earned Pajama Day. Pajama Day will be on Friday. Wear your pajamas with your grade level shirt. Follow the school dress code and no slippers. Rom Spear Wear is now available again. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, crewnecks, and sweatpants are in stock in a variety of colors and sizes. See Mrs. Jerminer in room 205 for available sizes and colors. T-shirts are $10. Sweatshirts, sweatpants, and crewnecks are $20. Time is running out to pre-order your yearbook. Yearbooks, yearbook orders are on, done online only. Be sure to print out the order confirmation for your records at the end of the year of the purchase. Order your yearbook at the following link. Interested in learning about different careers? Come join us during leap time in the Learning Commons for Career Chats. Coming up on February 23rd is an author. Sign up via Google Classroom. See your counselor if you have any questions. The neon dog carts will be out during leap this week. If, you, if the cart did not make it to your leap th last week, you will be first on the rotation this week. This week, you can get hashtag Bulldog Proud dog tags for $10 dog dollars, Dave and Buster gift cards for $15 dog dollars, and dog paw neon pencils for $2 dog dollars. Teachers, please send only students with dog dollars who intend to on making a purchase into the hallway when the neon dog cart vi visits your class. Bulldog Games participant lists will be posted outside grade level offices by the end of today. All lost and found will be donated after Friday. So if you lost something, be sure to check the lost and found in the next two days. Now for your fun fact. The average person falls asleep in seven minutes. Cookies will be sold today, 50 cents each. Make sure you have your money. Now please stand for your pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to Brian with your weather. Today, there will be a high of 31 and a low of 25, and it will be cloudy. Now for your joke. Knock, knock. Oh, one sec. i got to gotta go in. Uh, not, not your sports. And I'm Idalia. And, and we're, we're here, here with your sports. sports. The Detroit Red Wings lost to the St. Blues last night 2-0. Michigan State beat the Ohio State Buckeyes 74-66. The Detroit Pistons beat the Dallas Mavericks 98-91. Michigan plays the Wisconsin Badgers tonight at 7 p.m. Congratulations to the 7th grade volleyball team for coming from behind to beat Norup. After losing the first game 21-15, they came ro roaring back to take the match by winning the next two games, 21 to 13 and 21 to 14. Great job, ladies. The team will be back in action at Oak Park Academy on Monday, February 27th. The eighth grade volleyball team won their second game of the year, beating Norup two games to one. It was a tight first game with a great comeback. They came back just short, losing 21 to 19. But the Bulldogs came storming back and won the next two games 
and the match. With the scores 21 to 18 and 21 to 5, Sarah Amon played her best game of the year with eight serving points and a couple of great spikes. Skylar Veit and Lexi Roundsburg had six serving points, Riley Cross four points, and Hava Sierenfinski and Annabelle Knott with three points each. I'm Sergio. And I'm Idalia. And that's, that's news to me. me. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together rooky, the Adams family. Their house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family.